M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here's the new app which you can get on iOS and on the Play Store. So iPhones and Android phones. And with the, to me, the OpenSpot 4 Pro, you can PTT with no radio. So let's have a quick look at the difference between the two models. So the OpenSpot 4, it talks about using it as a hotspot for amateur radio use. But when you look at the Pro version, it says the Pro extends the feature set of the OpenSpot 4 with onboard transcoding hardware. The OpenSpot 4 Pro has the best voice quality in cross-mode operation. You don't need a transceiver for the Pro to use the Shark RF app on your computer or phone to talk. And then it says supports D-Star cross mode, use your D-Star transceiver to access DMR, C4FM, NXDN networks or your DMR, C4FM, NXDN transceiver to access D-Star networks. So it sounds like you can get more D-Star functionality if you go for the Pro. Now, even on promotion, the Pro is 269 plus, let's have a go at trying to buy it even though it's Black Friday. It's still going to cost you 292 euros including delivery. Um, I think the battery life on these, if you go by my OpenSpot 3, is lasting about two years, two-ish years, uh, and then you need a new battery, and they cost about, I would say, £70. So I've got to make the decision now if I want to get myself the new Pro or just buy, spend £70 on the battery. But anyway, this, this video is about the new app. Let's have a look at some of these screenshots. So the app will work with your OpenSpot 3, but it's more about just accessing the web interface, you know, the usual one that we see. And there is a computer connection. I'll show you that in a sec. So look, this is what you would see. Um, so I'm going to test that on my actual phone and make a video live on my phone doing that. Um, if we quickly check here on the PC, enter the device UID. So on the back of your open spot, you will see a special number. Put it in and it will connect. I know what my number is. I, let's get it right. ID 6965EB. Let's just quickly see what it does. I would guess that it just does the interface. Let's just do it caps. ID 6965EB. Is it UID? It could be UID. See, I told you I know it. No. Let me just double check. Yeah, it was 1D. One close though, D. 6965EB. Okay, let's hit connect and it'll connect. You've got to be on the same network, of course, Wi Fi network, which we're on as your device, and you'll get the interface page. And you know, the way I use my open spot is I use the quick setup, which I just find it quicker. But this looks identical, it's slightly different in the, in the size of the text, but overall the same. So, look, and yeah, can you see how I've got a bad battery in mine? It keeps coming up with a battery warning. So quick setup, and let's just say I want a DMR radio and I want to cross mode to D Star. And this is the upside to keeping the Open Spot 3. And I can go to, say, uh, let's have a look now, YSF NXDN. There is that D Star there, and some D Star things there. And I choose one Charlie, for example. So anyway, you get the idea. So uh, what would you do? I will do a test. I have an iPhone, so I'll do a test with the app on that. But without the Shark RF OpenSpot 4 Pro, I can't test it. But it does show in this screenshot Shark RF OpenSpot 4, and it shows the PTT. So it's, I think there is a chance that the PTT app does work with the OpenSpot Standard 4. I'm going to email them and find out for sure. Bye for now, 7-3.